Hey everyone, to start a podcast, you need to be a highly qualified person with lots of interesting things to talk about. Actually, that's not true. Literally anyone can start a podcast. And that's proven by the fact that literally everyone has started a podcast. It's ridiculous the amount of podcasts there are now. And today I'm going to be talking about a few that I think are particularly bad. Starting off with this one. A few months ago on TikTok, a group of boys started this thing where they would go out in public, sometimes up to girls, sometimes they just do it on their own, and then they'd go. Sat and go, you alright? Sat and girls, you alright? Sat and go, you alright? Absolutely peak content. How how can it get any better than that? Well, clearly there was such a high demand for them to carry on making these videos that they decided we'll make a podcast. That that will work out great. So they did. And what interesting things do they talk about on this podcast? I can't wait for holiday. Sometimes I'm in bed and I'm like, bruv, I need to brush my teeth. You never sat there and thought you need to brush your teeth? <laughs> no. no. Bruv. Just... Bruv. Mouth. If the internet is still around in 10,000 years and historians want to look back to see what the world was like in 2024, I don't think we're doing ourselves any favours by using this as the standard of podcasts. Anyway, these boys basically had the same idea that every single person to ever start a podcast had. We're really funny. So if we talk on a podcast, everyone will love us. So they'll talk about things that will seem interesting to them, but no one else really cares about. I've got I've got a question. What's everyone's type in a girl? Like, that's a question that I'm sure they would like to know because they all know each other and it, maybe it's interesting. But why, why do we need to know about this? Now, I don't like picking on random people, making fun of them if they haven't done anything wrong. I mean, listen, if this podcast was just a bit boring, I would not be making this video. But a lot of the opinions that they have said on this podcast are honestly shameful. See, if a girl cheats, she does not give a flat about you. If a man cheats, mm. you can cheat and you can still love that girl. What? What kind of logic is this? According to them, if a girl cheats, it's bad, but if a guy cheats, it's good. What? <laughs> what? This is genuinely so Andrew Tate coded, it's insane. A woman is going out with a man, she belongs to that man, that's his woman. I don't know how people actually think things like this. If a boy cheats on his girl, you, sh you, can, you can still love the life out of her. You can. Uh, you can still love her, but if a girl cheats, bro, she don't give a f If you cheat on your partner, you are in the wrong. It doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl, that is not an excuse. Oh yeah, my mate cheated, but he's a guy. Like, it doesn't matter. Either way, it's bad. Yeah, if a girl cheats on her boyfriend, that's bad. But if a boy cheats on her girlfriend, that's equally as bad. It's nothing to do with the gender. Anyway, let's see what other insightful opinions these guys have. If you're in a relationship yet and you've kissed another woman, are you cheating? Sometimes yeah. not necessarily. Uh, no, that is not okay. If you're in a relationship, you should not be kissing other girls. It's not if you feel like it or, oh yeah, the kiss didn't really mean anything. You've still gone off and kissed another girl. You are in the wrong and you should have to take accountability for that. You can't just be making excuses, guys. Come on. I just want to point out that these people all uploaded these clips onto TikTok. So they watched back through these, thought... That is good content. People, people want to know about this. People want to hear this stuff. And then proceeded to post it on a separate TikTok so that people could watch the best moments. Clearly, that was one of the best moments of, of their podcast. Anyway, they're not the only people to have started a podcast. However, this time, I'm going to be talking about someone that appeared on a podcast. Uh, so, I was in Dubai and we was at a club um, called Drift Nightclub. And I'm sure you've seen this all over TikTok. I'm not going to get into it very much because it's gone so viral lately that I would just be repeating what everyone else has already said. Basically, this girl here, who I'm not even going to say the name of because it is very clear from what she's been saying that she just cares about the publicity. It's the whole any publicity is good publicity. Even if it makes her look bad, she's just happy to be in the spotlight. So I'm not even going to say her name on here. She was part of the reason that a pretty big couple broke up. And after ruining someone's relationship, or at least contributing to ruining it, she then goes to brag about it on this podcast. He cheated on Molly May with you. Yeah. So uh, wait, are you the reason why they broke up? Part of the reason, yeah. And the three and other girls. And I got a photo to show. <laughs> the way she's so happy about it, and the thing is, right, everyone's been attacking this girl and no one's really been speaking about the guy. It's just as much on the guy as it is on her, okay? They're both equally as guilty. What I'm talking about right now, though, is the reactions afterwards of her going on a podcast and boasting about it and laughing. Why, why do that? That's embarrassing for the girl that got cheated on, as well as embarrassing for you because you're just making yourself look like an idiot. Everything about this is just so stupid. 
Luckily enough, though, the internet hasn't taken very kindly to this and she is being absolutely destroyed on TikTok at the moment. If you know who she is, search up her name on TikTok. You will see so many videos of people not backing her up. People are not happy with her at all, which is good because it means she's not really getting what she wanted. Although, like I said at the start, I think she's still under the whole any publicity is good publicity. So maybe just don't look her up at all. In the world of unneeded podcasts, though, none of them compare to the most unneeded podcast in all of podcast history. And that is what we're going to be talking about next video. Like I say, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. You don't have to, but it really helps. Hope you have a good day and goodbye.